In this video, we're going to be looking at dates and times and how we use them in Delphi. Now, this video I should have maybe done on Valentine's Day because it's very important to do this on Valentine's Day because then at least you have a date for Valentine's Day. So let's get into it. We're going to discuss about, first of all, how we can store them. And there are special data types that we can use for when we are storing a date and a time. And uh, the first one we're going to look at is the T date. So that's a type of uh, variable you, you can make. You can make a variable of type T date, and that will store the date that you want to store. And then we also have a T time variable, which will store the time. And then we have a third one, which is a T date time, which as you can guess, stores both the date and the time. Now, dates and times are stored as, um, they actually stored in Delphi as numerical values, which they convert to look the way that you want them to look. So uh, if you think about a number, for example, like the year, the year gets, as we go later, the years get bigger. So the same with dates, the numerical value of a date gets bigger as we go later. So if you are ever comparing dates, just remember that the later dates will be considered bigger. So you're fighting for greater than dates, for example. And the earlier dates would be less than. And the same goes for time. Earlier times would be smaller than bigger times or later times. Now the T-date time, you can store a date in a T-date time. It'll obviously just store what it can store. It'll leave the time to a default, which is normally like midnight. And then you can store the time field in or time value, a t-time variable into a t-date. And then it will just leave the date as the default. And I think it's a, some sort of day in 1899. I think that's the first date that it can store. So something like that. So you can use them interchangeably like that. It'll just store what it can in the different uh, places. So how do we get values into the t-date and the t-time and so on? T-time sounds like we need to have coffee or tea. T-time. So what we're going to do is we're going to show you the most commonly used functions that we use with these uh, variable types. So for example, let's say we've got a variable called dtemp, and it's a t date, and we want to get the current date of the that's, that's now. What's I want to get? What what is the date now? And you can use the date function. You just say equals date. It will go get the date that it is now and store it into that variable. Now, if I want to get the time now. Then you can guess it. There is a time function. You just say equals time and it will go get the current time that that line of code executed. It won't change as the program continues. You would have to write some code that makes it recheck the time. So normally you put a timer. But um, if you want to get the time at that particular time that the code is run, then you can use the time function. And if I want to get both the date and the time, together at the same time there is a function it will store in a t date time and that's the now function so the now function will get both the date and the time at that particular moment now if you stored a now if you use now on a t date it would still work we just obviously store the date in the same for a t time variable if you used now on them so that's what we would use the most often to get the current date time or date and time using date now and time functions. So when we want to display these dates, now before we get to displaying the dates, do you remember when we had integers and real numbers and we wanted to store them into things like show messages or edit controls, then we use the int to string and the float to string functions. Now Delphi also has the same functions for dates. So as you guessed it, there is a date to string function, which will take in a date variable and convert it to a string. And the same for the time variable, the t time variable that will convert to a string and a date time to string. So all those would take those variables that we've just created, for example, and be able to convert them to a string. So that way we can use these to display things in memo controls or in show messages, etc. Now, while we're on this topic, we also had the reverse of those functions when we had integers and strings, where we converted from a string to an int and a string to a float whenever we had a real number. So Delphi also has the same for the date. So we also have string to date, string to time, and string to date time. And that could be used, for example, maybe the user has to type in the date in an edit control. So you want to convert that into a date, or you get it from a database or a text file in some sort of format that you don't like. So you want to convert it to a date so that you can use the date functions that are available in Delphi. So those are available as well for you. So let's, now that we know that, let's go see if we can try this out in Delphi. So here we are in Delphi, so you can create a variable, I'm going to call it t temp of type t date. And we can then go and say, okay, 
td temp is equal to date and that'll get the current date and then i want to display that date i'm going to say show a message now d temp will not work because this is a time variable and this needs a string so i need to convert this date from what it is it's a date to a string and there we're using that date to string function so we can see let's see what time mr long is doing or what day mr long is doing this video i'm doing this video on the 14th of the 3rd 2021 okay so we're gonna let's try the time still let's keep d temp there as a date i'm gonna do t temp as my time variable and that's tea time not coffee time tea time and we will set that variable to which one was it it was the time variable and then we're going to do the exact same thing we're now going to show message t temp but that is a time variable and we need to convert it from a time to a string so that it can work inside this show message and let's combine that i'm going to just say hey we don't need to do that line anymore so let's test that one and you can see i'm doing this at half past nine in the morning and the last one we'll do is the full dt temp which is the date time variable a t date time it does both it can store both and i'm going to show you uh, what we can do we can say dt temp is equal to date and you can see there's no error so it takes in the date it's not going to give an error but let's display this dt temp variable but that needs to be converted from a date time to string because it's a date time variable and you see it takes in the time of the date let's just see what the, the time would be if i just gave it the date you see there we go it stores it okay we're storing the other stuff there i want to take this away boom, boom, boom. so show me it's just going to show it takes in the date so we're going to show the date date time to string so there you can see it shows the, the date and the time and if i changed it to just the time It would show the time but also show the date you can see there's the date it's the 12th or the 30th of december 19 or 1899 so the turn of the century so you can see the time now and then let's see there we go and so we can actually use rather instead of that let's try now so if we try now you will see we'll have all that information we'll have the current date and the current time of when that code was executed okay so there we go that's how you can use those functions when you've got numbers that you want to convert to a date sometimes you might have the year the month and the day stored as separate integers this could often happen if you've got like three spin edit controls that allow you to type in the value for the day the month the year and that allows you for some extra error checking then maybe you want to convert that into a date now there is a function that can do that for you that's the encode date function and that takes in the year the month and day in that order as parameters and then you can it'll convert it into a date for you and there's also an encode time and encode date time function they also work very similarly but they all take in different parameters so the encode time would take in parameters for the year minutes and seconds and the date time the encode date time one will obviously take year month day hour minutes and seconds so you can put all those values if you had them as separate integer values now sometimes you want to change the way a string looks when it's displayed so this can also be used like a changing the date to a string so you can display but you want to change particularly how it looks so for that we're going to use the format date time function and that needs two parameters and the first parameter will be a string which which specifies the format it's going to be a special code that says this is what the, the date or the time must look like and then the last parameter will be the date or time or date time variable that you want to convert um, so we would use any one of those a date a, a time a t time a t date or a t date time variable there now this format one we need to figure out how do we specify the format now there's special codes for the format and here we have a list of them so for example if you've got the year you would use a y 
and the month would be an M and the day would be a D. So those letters represent those uh, particular values. And then you have hour for H. These all make sense, but just be careful. The minute, it's not an M, that's because M is being used by month. So we use an N for minute. And then you have second uh, is S and Z for milliseconds. So let's do a couple of examples just so we can get used to it. So here we have DD dash MM dash YY. When it's two let or two values of that code, so like two Ds and two Ms and two Ys, that'll be the numerical value of that, uh, whatever that value is. So it'll be this is what the date would look like if it was the 11th of March 2021. So if you only wanted to display the year as two values, it would be the last two values, for example. So that's, and there you can see the dashes. I can also specify what other characters are around the date. In this case, dashes instead of maybe a backslash or forward slash. So you can do that for that. But now in this case, we have the day and the, the month are swapped around a little bit. We've got a comma there. We want the date, the year to be played in full. But you'll notice here that the month has four M's. Now we said two M's will be the numerical value of the month. If you put three M's, that'll be the shortened version of the month. So if we were in March, it would be M-A-R or January would be J-A-N. But if you got four, that means just give me the full name of the month. And in that case, it would say March 11, comma, and then 2021. And another one could be, let's say we've got a time and we want to display the time. Now, again, the, the day, if it was two, two Ds, it would be the numerical value. But if it's three Ds, it would be the shortened version of that day. So like would be Monday would be M-O-N. And three Ds would be the full name of that date. And in this case, we could say Thursday at 11.45. So there you can see the hour and the minutes that's specified with the actual full name of the day. So that's how you can use the format date time function. So let's just go practice what we just learned quickly. It won't take too long. So let's go right to the beginning. Yeah, we want to say, okay, that's D temp. Let's change that D temp. I want to encode a new value into it. So I'm going to say, hey, this is equal to encode date. See, encode the date, and there we want to put the year, the month. And let's say I want to put in Valentine's Day for this year. So let's go the year, and there you can see we need the month, which will be 02, and then we need the day, which would be 14. So there's Valentine's Day in 2021. So I've taken those three values, and it would make it into a date. And then I can say, okay, then let's display it in a show message. I'm going to display it, but now I'm going to use the format. Date. Now you'll see there's no format time or format date. It's always format date time. And there we've got the format followed by the variable. So we know we want a particular format. I'm putting this D temp at the end so that we can use that. I'm just taking yeah, that's all fine. And so let's see, well, how do we want it to look? So if we wanted to say, what day is Valentine's Day? We'll put that. There's, you can say three or four Ds to say the day. Then we can say DD again to say the numerical value followed by the month in shortened version followed by the year. If we wanted to, we could do something like that. So it would be the full name of the day followed by the numerical value of the day, the month in shortened version, and then the what the year in that format. So we could even put, the, if we wanted to, we can even say, let's put the year in brackets if you wanted to. Let's see what that would look like. So let's go display and so let's double check so you can see the four d's represent this year in 2021 valentine's day will be on a sunday and it's the 14th of feb you see three letter code for month feb and then the year you can see it's got brackets around it because that's what we wanted we can specify the format that we want using those codes for more videos on dates and times in this video series, as well as other videos on Delphi, you can go to our YouTube channel. Please click the subscribe button. We'd love for you to follow us and give us your feedback. Leave a comment, leave some likes. We would love to hear from you. And remember, don't do it the long way. Do it the Mr. Long Way.